Marianne from Thrive Admin Services. In this video, I'm going to give you a really quick rundown on how to make sure that your deleted items are actually deleted in your inbox. So let's have a look. Today, we're going to be working on a Mac desktop in Outlook on our business subscription. And we're going to look at how to make sure that we empty that folder and it's not chewing up the space in our inbox. Let's go. So as I mentioned today, I am working in a Mac or on a Mac, sorry, on the desktop version using the new Outlook and I'm using Microsoft 365 Business. So when we're talking about deleting emails, there's a couple of things we need to know straight from the outset. The first thing is that items that you move to your deleted items or trash, if you have a different account added into your Outlook, like a Gmail or a Yahoo type account, you'll have a trash folder. Basically, when you hit delete with your keyboard or right click and press delete on the message, it moves it into that folder, but it's not permanently deleted unless you empty that folder as well. So over time, the contents of your deleted items can actually overtake the size of the rest of your inbox, particularly if you aren't aware that this is what's happening. So you'll start running out of space, you'll start getting messages, things might bounce from people sending things in if they've got large attachments and you don't have enough space in your inbox. So you either end up having to pay for more storage or you then start deleting more emails and not understanding why things still aren't coming in. So the first thing you need to know is that today when I'm working on the Mac, there are a couple of things we can do. And then I'm going to talk to you about the PC option. So when we're doing this in Mac, they get moved to our deleted items folder. So I've got one here and this one. So I've hit delete and that's where it's ended up. Now, what I can do is I can do things in a couple of ways. I can right click in here and hit delete again. Why can't I find it right down the bottom? There we go. And it will ask me if I want to permanently delete this selected message. Now that's going to do it individually. Likewise, I could on my Mac, I can do command A and that will select everything. And I can uh, do the same process and it will remove all of the emails. The other way I can do it is over here in my folder stack, I can right click on deleted items and it has an option to empty the folder. And again, I'll get that same and it's going to do all of the messages in this folder. So if you've got screen after screen, if you've got numbers at the bottom or you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, this will get rid of them all instantly for you. Okay. And if we do that, it's vanished. There's nothing there and it's going to reduce the volume of my inbox, which is also quite handy. The next thing that is happening is that that can happen is that we can permanently delete an item in the inbox. So this one, for example, I've sent myself as a test. So normally you would press this button and it, it's removed from here, but it's actually landed here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in my inbox. If I highlight it, I might read it. I might open it up. I might have the reading pane open so I can see it. And then I might go, oh, look, I've dealt with that. There's no further action. It's not going to come back. It might be a newsletter. It might be a quick message from somebody. It might be a personal thing. And you just go, right, I just want to get rid of it. I can hit the shift button and then I can hit delete and it brings me up with that same message and then it will permanently delete it. And if I go now into my deleted items, it's not gone there. It's bypassed that and it's completely been removed. So if you've saved the attachment down into your OneDrive or your local computer, whatever you're working on, and you no longer need the message, you can get rid of the message with the attachment and it will take that bulk out of your inbox. Now, I do want to talk to you about when you're working on a PC because there are a couple of options for you there. So you can do the same thing. You can right click your deleted items and click empty folder. You can also uh, up in your file and options, you can choose from the advanced tab under Outlook Start and Exit, you can select that it will empty the deleted items folder on exiting and you tick that box. And if you do that, what will happen is that every time you close Outlook, which you should be doing at the end of every day, it will mean that you'll get a little message that says, do you want to empty your deleted items folder? You click yes. And then when you log in the next morning, there's nothing there or the next time there's nothing there. Um, so that's one of your options as well. Um, you can also work with the same format. You can uh, shift and delete, 
will get rid of a message individually from your inbox. So this is really important as we work more and more inside our inboxes and we're dealing with files. If you've got files that are sent as attachments rather than links, it will chew up your bandwidth really quickly. So get in there, check your, your deleted items and see just how much space you There you have it. I know it seems like a really simple thing that you could be doing, but chances are we get caught up in loads of other things all the time. You might have had some updates. And if you go in and open up your deleted items folder, you may find that there's a lot more there than you realized. Please don't be one of those people who uses the deleted items folder as a filing system. Create a folder in your inbox or archive emails out into a uh, an Outlook data file that you can access from your, any of your devices. And then make sure that you are removing things from the inbox so that you can treat it as a proper inbox. It's dealing with the things that need your attention. It's things that you need to read and be aware of and that you can tick and flick and move on to the next thing. We wanna make sure that you're working in a much more streamlined way and that you're able to actually access the information you need quickly and easily every time you open your inbox. If you've got any questions about working with your emails and your deleted items, please get in touch. You can pop a comment on this video. You can message me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or TikTok. Just look for at Thrive Admin Services. And if you're looking for more support when it comes to all things Outlook and the rest of your Microsoft 365 subscription, please check out Microsoft Dynamos on Facebook, my free community full of loads, of, full of tips and tricks. And it's got loads of wonderful people who are sharing their own experiences as well. I'll talk to you soon.